Hi y'all, so if you're seeing this, I am in labor. Oh my gosh. So on this channel, I thought I would post what I pack in my labor and delivery bag. Low maintenance edition. I'm a very chill, low maintenance person, um, especially when it comes to stuff like this. I'm not taking the whole kitchen sink this time. Um, so yeah, if you want to see what's in my labor and delivery bag, low maintenance girl edition, keep on watching. And if you want to see what I do to kind of prepare to go into labor, um, what I do once I'm like having contractions and stuff at the house, on my other channel, my self-care channel, I have a whole video about that that I'm posting at the same time to just announce everywhere that I'm finally in labor. So let's get into this video so i'm packing everything for me dad and baby in this one duffel bag pretty sure that'll be enough except for one thing won't fit in there but that's it so i will say that this is my second baby and my first labor and delivery experience was that for my entire pregnancy i took a class every week at the hospital that i was giving birth at and they gave us a list of what they recommended that we take and I took every single thing that they recommended because it was my first time and I had no idea what I was doing and I kid you not I did not look at think about take out of the bag like 90% of the things that I packed so this time it's very low maintenance like I remember exactly the things I used and that's it. So we're getting that 10% that I actually used. And that's what's going in my bag. First, let's start off with the outfit that I'm going to be most likely wearing when I go like into labor. I'm going to be wearing something pretty comfy, loose, baggy. I have some sweatpants and like a loose thermal with a jacket. Keep in mind, I'm living somewhere where it's, it's literally snowing today. Um... I'm due, I'm filming this when I'm like 38 and a half weeks pregnant already. I'm due in a week and a half, so pretty sure it's going to be snowy, <laughs> um, or at least very, very cold. So I would just recommend something comfortable, um, easy to remove once you get to the hospital. If you want to buy your own hospital gown, go ahead. I don't care about that stuff. I'm going to get to the hospital. They're going to give me a hospital gown. I'm going to put that on. I don't care that much. So I'm just going to wear something that's comfortable, that's easy to take off when I get there. For me, for after I have the baby, um, again, the first time I took shower stuff, also different from my first experience is that my first experience, the hospital was an hour away from my house because I lived out in the country, out in the boonies. This time we live in a completely different place in a completely different state. The hospital I'm giving birth at is literally a five minute drive from my house. So I'm not worried about showering. First of all, if you go to my other channel and you see like my labor prep video, showering is going to be part of that. Um, most people that I've spoken to just get in the shower in general because it's very good for pain management and relaxing when you are having contractions, but it's too early to go to the hospital. So I'm going to be showered. I'm going to be showered. I'm going to put on clean clothes, go to the hospital. And in my mind, I'm like, okay, if everything goes as planned, just like the first time, I spent like 24 hours in the hospital and I was back home the next day. If that happens again, I'm not going to shower at the hotel I'm, or at the hospital. I'm going to come home and shower at my own house when I'm ready. And then it's like, okay, well, what if something goes wrong? I probably won't want to shower anyway. If something goes wrong, to me, that means, okay, you needed like an emergency C-section or something. You just had a major surgery. Why would you want to shower? You're going to want to stand up and take a shower when you wake up from that? Probably not. You're probably going to want to shower <laughs> in the comfort of your own home. So I'm not worried about it. I'm taking a toothbrush, a travel toothbrush kit, a hairbrush, some travel makeup wipes. You can just take a regular pack. I just already have these because um, I don't use makeup wipes unless I'm traveling. So I just have these. I'm taking those in case I have makeup on when I go to the hospital and at some point I want to take it off. I'm taking that. And I'm taking this travel deodorant. Just because for me personally, when I am in pain, I do sweat a lot. 
labor and delivery there's just a lot of sweat that happens so if there's ever a time where it is bothering me i'll just baby wipe it up put on some fresh deodorant get rid of that onion smell <laughs> and that's about it other than that not really taking much other than that um i might take like a body spray or a lotion if i happen to like throw it in my bag after i shower but that's about it if you've watched any other labor and delivery videos you've probably seen depends i did use these my first time because i took everyone's recommendation and i love these these are awesome so i just have a regular pack of 17 um to take with way more comfortable than those big bulky panties that they give you to leave the hospital my first experience i didn't tear or anything so i wore those right out of the hospital like they first put those weird underwears on me and put like ice packs and stuff but i didn't tear i wasn't even ultimately in that much pain down there um so yeah I wore those straight out of the hospital. I'm taking one change of clothes. These are period panties that I have in case I feel like, like in case I don't tear again um, and I don't feel like wearing the Depends. Like I, again, the first time also I didn't bleed that much. Um, it was very similar to a normal period for me. So um, if it's like that again, I'm just going based off of what happened the first time because what else am I going to base it off of? Um, I have my regular period panties that I wear. They're just reusable period panties, a pair of socks, a tank top, and these are yoga pants. They're not tights. They're like flared out. They're not that tight. And they have like a big waistband. These are from Old Navy. These I wear all the time. Um, and I could wear them through like mm, the first two thirds of my pregnancy um, so they're going to be really comfortable when I leave because your belly is not going to be a huge 40 week belly when you leave. It probably will look a little bit closer to how you looked when you were like 20, 25 weeks. And these were very comfortable when I was 25 weeks pregnant. So that's what I'm taking. If those don't sound comfortable, I'll just put the sweatpants on that I came in in because I will most likely just wear that clothes to the hospital and change immediately when I get there so they probably won't be dirty or anything unless in like the couple hours that I'm wearing them my water breaks or something so I'll also have the sweatpants that I came in to wear I'm gonna take my breast pump that was a mistake I made the first time my son did not have a uh, easy time latching but I needed to be pumping and I didn't have a pump in that first couple of hours if your baby is having a hard time latching, you need to just go ahead and pump if you want your milk to come in. I had some milk supply issues because I waited so long to pump. I was so like determined to get my baby to latch and I wasn't even thinking about that. I wasn't even, I didn't even have my pump with me. I'm going to take my breast pump with me to the hospital just in case we're there for like the first, I mean, you gotta be there to like fill out paperwork and stuff. Like you're gonna be there at least for like four or five hours after you have your baby. Um, I think I was there for about that long when I had my first son. I had to kind of wait around for like four or five hours until I could leave. And if your baby's not latching in that first two, three hours, you wanna be pumping to get your milk to come in. So taking my breast pump, I'm taking my yoga ball. So that is like the only thing that's gonna look like super extra when I walk in is that my husband's going to be like carrying a yoga ball but I'm taking it because that has been one of the only comfortable ways for me to sit down like I'm sitting on a stool right now that's pretty low to the ground if I'm sitting in a, a chair or on our couch I have to sit at the very edge of it I cannot like sit on anything normal right now my stomach is huge my big old thunder thighs just hit my stomach my uterus is getting lower and lower so it's clashing even more um the yoga ball has definitely been my most comforting item that i've like used the most out of my whole pregnancy so i'm going to just continue to use it for my labor but if you don't use one don't worry about taking one just take whatever has been most comforting to you. If that's a heating pad, cool. If that's ice packs, cool. If that's whatever it is, just take that. I, I would say whatever you wanted most during your pregnancy, 
you will want most during your labor. So go ahead and take that. The only other thing is that I know before we go to the hospital, I will probably, I mean, not even probably, I will be eating. You got to eat. You got to fuel up. This is a major event that you're going into. Um, you got to be prepared. You need to eat something. You need to drink a lot of water. Um, you can take snacks, but I know from experience, I just know myself, I'm not a snack person. When I'm in the heat of the moment, when it's getting down to the wire, I know that I'm not going to want snacks, but I am going to want drinks. The hospital will provide you water. Some hospitals provide other kinds of drinks, but not every single one, or maybe not drinks that you like. So I'm going to take just a couple of body armors, just because this is like the main thing I've been drinking other than water. I like the strawberry lemonade flavor because I like flavored lemonades. Um, so I'm just going to have a couple in my bag, just in case I'm really thirsty and I want something other than water. Um, you could take Crystal Lights, Pedialyte, Mio, Gatorade anything like that if just in case you want something other than water and you don't want to depend on the hospital having something you like because they might not take a drink if you are a snack girl take a snack other than that that's all i'm taking for me let's move on to baby for baby of course we're taking a pack of newborn diapers i have used the parents choice from walmart for my son's entire life i love them oh shit i love them i've had no issues with them they're great. So I'm just going to take the, just a small pack of newborn diapers and call it good. For clothes, I'm going to go ahead and take three onesies or footy pajamas actually is what they are. I'm going to take three footy pajamas. I don't have any newborn clothes. I didn't bother buying any newborn size when we we're having our son because our children are gigantic. My husband and I are both very tall our son came out super long um he's tall and thin just like his dad that's exactly how he came out so these are all zero to three months if you want to take uh one newborn size and one zero to three months some people do that just just in case their baby comes out small i'm just gonna take this i don't really care that much <laughs> if it's a little bit baggy i think we'll be okay the reason i say to take footy pajamas is because when we first had our son I took a bunch of stuff that you have to put over your baby's head, like a t-shirt, and let me tell you, that is not easy, okay? Especially when you're like a first-time parent and your baby has like no neck stability at all, they're floppy little dough balls. Um, yeah, this, you unzip it, you lay them inside it, and you zip it up. So much easier. I'm taking three in case there's spillage from any diapers when babies are first born. There's lots, of, there's lots of that, okay? Lots of poop spillage in that first three, three to six months. Um, and I'm taking hats just in case. My son never wanted to wear hats, um, but I'm taking some just in case. We do live in a colder place now, so whatever. I'm just gonna take them the lucky thing also about taking footy pajamas is that most of them have the cuffs that go over the hands and then also their feet are covered so i'm not taking socks i'm not taking gloves um our first kid if you go back on my instagram and look at his newborn photos he has literally a onesie on no pants no socks no gloves and his hat's like falling off because he's probably ripping it off when I'm trying to take the photo. He always hated all that stuff. He also hated being swaddled. The nurses at the hospital couldn't even keep him swaddled. He busts out of that thing. So I'm not taking any of that stuff. It's extra. If you want to take it, go for it. I'm not going to do it. Footy pajamas. I'm taking a hat just in case. And I'm taking this, which is my, uh, what are these called again? The sleep sack. I do love these. Their arms are free. Their legs are covered and warm. My son did like these. So I am going to take the sleep sack. I'm taking my zero to three month size or birth to three month size just in case I feel like they're cold. Um, I'm also going to take one of our baby blankets that we have. I just have forgot to put it over here. But yeah, I'm just going to grab a baby blanket as well just for when we're like holding them. 
I'll actually grab one so I can show you what I'm talking about. One of the nurses, when I had my son showed me this, she's such a genius. So you take the baby blanket like this. Your baby's going to be like, your baby likes to be held a lot. So if you're like trying to eat or drink water or fill out paperwork or whatever, and your baby really wants to be held, what I found great, I love this tip, is you take the baby blanket, you're sitting down holding or kind of like, I guess, lean back a, t a smidge. I did this when I was eating in the hospital and like just up talking to like my husband and stuff. It was amazing. You have like the baby, you know, laying on your chest. I probably have a picture too. And then you take this, baby's head is like up here. You take this, put it over baby, and then you put this under your armpits and you hold the baby like this. And this being under your armpits just holds them to your chest really securely, but you can still use your arms. It is the best. So <laughs> I'm taking a baby blanket, like mostly to do that, or put a cute blanket on them for pictures in the hospital or whatever, or lay the blanket down um, underneath them for blankets or for pictures in the hospital just because it's probably cuter than the crate that they're in take a cute baby blanket so you can hold them like that for pictures you can put it underneath them for pictures and also hold them like that to make your life a little bit easier taking these um, I'm taking a baby comb and baby brush just to brush and comb their hair in case they have any my son was completely bald but <laughs> in case they have any and you want to kind of tame it uh, for pictures and then I am taking a baby aquaphor this is also a hack that I learned my first time around. This is for the baby's butt. I'm not gonna worry about bathing them for the first 48 hours, so we'll probably be home before we bathe them. Um, you can take those little travel baby kits if you really wanna wash them at the hospital, that's totally up to you. I'm not worried about bathing them until they come back home for 48 hours, so whatever. However, <laughs> this, the first thing that your baby is going to be pooping out is something called meconia, meconium, something like that. It's a very dark, sticky, sticky, sticky poop. You put this on their butt, and then when they poop again, it is so much easier to wipe off because that stuff is so sticky. This just... It can't hold on to anything. You put just a little thin layer on their butt, on like their butt cheeks. It's awesome. Hack from, for now a second time mom. And this is all stuff I learned just in the last couple of years, just from having my son, because wouldn't you know, I <laughs> never even held a baby until I had my son. Never changed a diaper in my life until I had my son. Had literally never even been around babies. So if you're watching this as like a first time mom and you have literally no baby experience, you're gonna be, oh shit. You're gonna be totally fine. You can still be low maintenance at the hospital. You're gonna be totally fine. It doesn't take as much stuff as some uh, people say that it does some people like the extra stuff but you don't need it you know what i'm saying i think these are the last two things for the baby um i'm taking this although i'm kind of second guessing this this is like the only thing i'm kind of thinking is going to be pointless it's this thick plushy bodysuit remember i'm from texas my husband's from texas we just moved to wyoming a couple months ago this is our first winter here and i'm about to have a baby um, this is like a thick bodysuit it's like fur lined um, and again it's kind of like a footy pajama where you can just set them inside and zip it up and it has a hood however I don't think this is technically safe for the car seat for the baby to be in um, because you know well if you know about like car seat safety and stuff your kids of any age are not supposed to wear big plushy jackets at all when they're in a car seat because you cannot tighten the straps enough um, to for it to actually be safe. So if you get in a car wreck, they're gonna go flying out of their car seat and die. So this is the one thing I'm gonna take it. I literally might just take photos in it. I might ask the nurses there like, can I? Can he wear this in his car seat or no? Um, and they can say yes or no and that's fine. Oh, I also like this because flops over the feet it flops over the feet and it flops over the hands so 
it's great i got this at walmart go get this it's so cute if you live in a cold place and you're about to have a newborn baby that is awesome my backup plan is something i just got <laughs> um i don't know when i'm posting that vlog but uh recently we had a uh, antique and homemade craft caravan go through our town and we stopped and this woman had these for babies and basically this is just safer because um you can actually get the straps like on the baby's chest and between their legs properly not really showing it that great but you can actually get the straps on just the baby's chest in just a onesie and then you just flop this over to keep them warm and it has a hood so that's great the other thing if you don't have access to this because that exact caravan didn't go through your town car seat ponchos and i've been meaning to make some for my toddler for this winter anyway so i'm thinking i'll just make a toddler version and a newborn version of everything um and they're like they seem relatively easy to make and they're really cute and that again it kind of it goes over just like their head you can take the back of the poncho flop it up over the back of the car seat and fully strap them in completely properly on just one layer of clothes so it's actually properly tight and then just flop the poncho over the front and the back of the poncho will be over the back seat so yeah that's everything i take i'm taking barring like i said you know if i'm having contractions at the house but they're not close enough to warrant going to the hospital yet and i'm like ooh, i really want this drink Ooh, i really want this lotion i'll throw it in the bag but other than that that's everything i'm taking oh and then along with like a hairbrush maybe you want to take some extra hair ties i didn't mention that because i'm kind of keeping in mind that i'm also just going to grab my purse on the way out and my purse always has some type of like hand lotion in it a chapstick and hair ties so if your purse doesn't always have that stuff you might want that stuff um again in my labor prep video i kind of show y'all um like an updo that i'm gonna be doing i'm gonna probably be doing like two french braids just to make sure i don't have a bun in the back of my head something that's comfortable to lay down but after the fact you might want to take that down brush your hair throw it in a bun something um you might just want something for your hair um and chapstick but i always have that stuff in my purse so if you don't have that stuff always on you in your purse throw it in your bag that is everything hopefully this was helpful let me know down below if it was if you are about to have your baby congratulations if you're thinking about getting pregnant i'm hoping and praying for you and yeah <laughs> thank you so much i'm sure i have other videos pre-filmed so i will be back probably in a month or two with an actual update everything else will be pre-filmed and i'll see you guys in the next video bye